Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? Um, today's video <laughs> is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So we are going to show you how to convert um, your lat long coordinates in um, WGS84 to a projected system. Yeah. You know that um, WGS84 in your lat long is uh, mostly your geographic coordinate. So when you want to project it to your, let's say your location using um, any of your UTM zones, you are going to see how to do that in a couple of minutes now. So please, um, if you're coming to the channel for the first time, encourage us by subscribing and always thanks for coming back if you are a returning viewer. We appreciate you a lot. So um, these were the data we, we picked from Google Earth um, on one of our last video where we tried to get um, a contour map from Google Earth. We moved from Google Earth to um, GPS Visualizer, TCS Converter and then finally we got to um, Sofa and then we plotted our contour. So these were the data we got, the longitude, and the latitude and then the altitude that was actually assigned because so this altitude that was, would I say the let's say the bone of contention or the thing we actually needed that made us go that far because we couldn't have um, gotten the contour without them um, getting this um, height. So now we are now going to use this data, which is the latitude and the longitude and the latitude, and move them to QGIS. And then from QGIS, we now still export it as what um, our projected coordinate system. So you are going to see how to do it. So let's say you already have your longitude and your latitude and your altitude, whatever case, but we are most importantly concerned with the longitude and the latitude. So what you will do is that you save it as what a CSV file. You know on our last video how we did that. You save it as a CSV file. We've already done that. Come to file and then what you go to save as and again we are emphatic that um, you work on a folder. I don't really know why I'm always saying that, but it helps you keep your work in order. So we are working on this folder a lot long to UTM. So you come, we've already saved that. So you just come, you select the file type, and then you say CSV and you want and you save. So since we've saved it, let's not just go back to that again. Now the next thing is what you come to what your QGIS. Now the same way you we showed you on the last video, you come to layer, add layer. And then you do what? Add the limited text layer. Then you browse through your your um, your directory or maybe your computer to navigate to wherever the data is. This is the data we want to work on. And then you do what? You open it. Now you can see the preview, the sample data, same data we uh, we saved on um, we saved on uh, Excel. Now you can see that the file format is still on CSV, which that that's what we need, or which is what we need. And then the record and field not near now the geometric definition now we are we are um, bringing it in or we are importing it as what as point coordinates therefore we need to um, specify the field the x is the longitude the y is the latitude and then the z is the what is the altitude and um, we know we have always made emphasis on the choice of your x y and z because sometimes you might not have it as um, latitude, longitude, and then um, um, what do you call it? You might not have it as um, latitude, longitude, and also you might have it as northern, eastern, and what, and height. So your X field is always what your longitude or your eastern, while your Y field is always what your northern or what your latitude. It's actually very important you try to take note of that, and then your Z can be your your height, your altitude, but that's X and Y is actually very important. And now this DMS, let's say you are bringing in your points in form of good. X and Y coordinates are expressed in degree minute and second. So if they are expressed in degree minute and second, you can decide to check this. But since ours is not expressed in degree minute and second, there is no need for us to check it. Hope you got that. Good. That's why it has been unchecked. Then the geometry CRS, that's a coordinate reference system. We are still working on um, WGS84, which is the base for now we are using. So we are still on um, WGS84. So we say what? Okay. 
So I think that's basically all we are going to do before ever we bring in the data, before ever we import the what the, the coordinates, the point coordinates to what to QGIS. So I think everything is set. Uh, everything is set. So we say what add and then close. So the points have been imported. The points have been imported. I remember again on our last video we tried to tell you something about this and plug in tile plus and um, we say you should check out geomatics up and um, it's a very good friend of mine he has a video that um, describe how you are going to do this however we are also going to do something like that on the channel very soon so you need to check out that my very good friend and then you know also support him now this is the what the google satellite imagery of that location if you remember the day we worked with it on google map you can see the location and the one we just saw on QGIS. This check will help us do something towards the end of the video and then you'll see it. But now you can see that this is actually the place it is on Google Earth and it's actually the same place it is on what that plugin we are using. So the essence of the essence of this plugin is more like you don't want to go back to maybe Google Earth to get some stuff. You just want to get Google Earth on what on your QGIS. So as you've seen it now, the points are actually within where we need them. That's why I had to um, bring this thing on. Now, the next thing is for us to now what export this point or export this data to what um, export it as what um, the projected coordinate system. So you come, you you um, you select the, the layer, then you right click, then you go to what export, then you now click on save features as. Then when you click on save features as the format you want to save is for CS because we want to get it on a, um, an Excel file extension. So we are on CSV comma separated values. Then you try to browse through to select the file name you want to give to it. So you hit that um, and then you now we're on our folder last long to UTM. So let's just call this um, UTM. Yes, good respect. Let's call this UTM. Then the data was in um, last long. We just save. Then the next most important thing, would I say that is the crux of this video, ensure that you don't leave this on the geographic coordinate system. Where we want to work on is in zone 33. Zone 33. Therefore, what where we want to work on is in zone 33. Therefore, we might not really, yeah, it's in zone 33. Therefore, we might not really, um, therefore, we are going to use zone 33. However, when you want to work on your phone, you know where your UTM zone is. If it's 31, 10, 15, 20, 30, 37, anywhere it is, ensure you pick that because that is the crux of this video. So that we are moving it from WJ84 now to the projected what coordinate system which we want to what we want to get our product. So we are using them um, WJ84 UTM zone 33. Okay. So the rest is okay. Then we come to um, this um, geometry and then we pick this X, Y, Z, yeah? X, Y, Z. Since we add them um, Z there, so let's just do that for um, the Z value we add there. So I think this is okay. You click on okay. Good. Successfully saved. It has been saved. Now the next thing we are going to do is that instead of maybe we can decide to still check it here. You can decide to still check it here because this same Excel file you have seen here has actually been saved on what on that your um, on that directory you specified earlier. So we've seen it on the attribute table. We have seen the last long and we've also seen the what the X Y Z, which is the the projected um, coordinate system. So we can just decide to close this and then go back to the folder we are working on. Now this is the folder we are working on. You can see it, and this is what this is the UTM. So let's now open this data we just what we just um, exported here. All right, um, you can now see that um, we have our data. It was exported, still having the longitude and latitude for each of the points and their corresponding what um, UTM coordinate. So with this now, you have been able to convert um, a set of data from WGS84 towards your UTM zone, so maybe the projected coordinate system. From the geographic world to the projected. So remember the process. You have your data in what in lat long, 
and which is in blessed wj 34 and you want to get it in one any of your utm zones but we use them 33 yeah so you want to get it on utm zone 33 so what do you do you move it to what you move it to qgis and from qgis you what you export it again as a csv file you move it as a csv file and then you export it as a csv file and you would get this so thanks for coming to class now let's go and check what we mean by that check what we mean by that check is that you know on google map you can decide to change this just like an addendum to the video on google map you can decide to change what this is google map here you can decide to change how your coordinates are being displayed from lats long to utm hope you know that good so what we did was that this particular point here we have it as a what do you call it we've already gotten it so what we want to do now is that we want to check the coordinates of this point here like if we can find anything close to that on the projected coordinate system or the projected coordinate rather that we've just uh, we've just exported okay now for this check well, why we put this check here as the place mark is that perhaps when you've um, exported your coordinates you can just go through the um, the list of the utm coordinates to see if you would find a coordinate that is very close to this one or that is what that is exactly this point here you can see it's not even on the line so perhaps you might not even really get it um good it's, you can see now it's not even on the line so maybe if you can decide to get a point that will be directly on that line let's say on that point as it is there then you can do what you can get the coordinates as maybe it is being displayed on this um on this your um exported or your yeah your projected um coordinate so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solutions to this um, particular solving problems and um, please if you have any issues related to this and you need our help you can always contact us and then we'll get back to you as soon as possible and please don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel and then you can also see links to supporting us on the channel description or even the description section of this video so please um, help us, support us, and then keep us moving. So until we see you on the next video, have a nice time. Bye.